Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how I converted my uh, stationary simulator. If you remember that uh, this simulator do not have any platform there, it's just sitting directly to the ground. Today I'm going to show you how I made my platform to make this simulator to move uh, three degrees of freedom. You may notice that I added a halo here and uh, also the side view mirrors are missing. Uh, the reason for that is because uh, uh, since I added the halo, I keep breaking the uh, side view mirrors every time I go in and out of the cockpit. This, uh, this is the side view mirror there. This is the side view mirror that was there. So as you can see, it's not proportional to uh, have the halo and a, a tall side view mirror here. So I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to uh, redesign this neck here and I'm just gonna make the uh, side view mirror sitting like this and then I have a, a neck about this low here. So I think it's gonna be a proportional for uh, the halo. I made also a box. This is will serve as a step stool. And so when I go in and out, And also, this whole black square here, this is um, two sheets of plywood that's about uh, half an inch thick. And they are very, very heavy. I can't even lift it by myself. I fastened the platform on the plywood. And the, when the simulator start moving around, I want to make sure that the platform will stay on the floor and this weight here will uh, help that. Now I'm ready to show you how I started the project. First I, uh, I designed the, uh, the platform and the CAD and here we go. This is where I came up with my platform and I got that pivot point there. I got two uh, 24 bolt motors for uh, left and right and I'm supposed to have uh, another motor here for uh, my three degrees of freedom. Okay, I just finished uh, putting a belt uh, on this uh, pulley set, set of pulleys I have here. Here's my belt. Just put one in here. Put one here too. And I'm gonna paint it black and mount it here. There's my third motor and I could not find exactly the same motors out there. I only got the motors, uh, this uh, set of two here. I got, I got it for 80 bucks from eBay. And then I bought another two of these because they only sold by a uh, pair. So I got this for uh, a uh, set of us two for uh, 75 bucks and uh, I think that's that's also 24 I added a uh, stop here this is from uh, making the whole uh, platform going up and down this way when I uh, hit the leaf or bumps and stuff like that I have two sets of uh, metal roller bands here and there's two in the front there so and it's sitting on the metal plates that one there. I put a uh, little grooves here so uh, make sure the uh, the bearing will stay in place with that. Uh... 
right this is the under budget setup here so uh, i've been using uh, all kinds of wires here this is just a christmas lights wire there and i just uh, made my own uh, pivot there just a bunch of uh pillow bearings the bearing pillow box i came up with uh we got the uh, arduino in there and uh, three motor controls here's what the uh, fan there looks and i like got inside the three uh power supply boxes there and uh cooling fan and i also have this uh, reset button here i'm gonna actually place that next to my steering wheel Looks like all the motors are working properly now. It's time to uh, put the uh, cockpit on top of them.
five screws on the top here. And I'm gonna put another one here and on the back. Plug in all the uh, wires for the control and uh, should be all set. I have uh, a little uh, reset button here. Uh, temporarily, I'm just going to put this uh, over here uh, because once in a while the uh, motor kind of stopped. So uh, I have pushed the reset button here to, uh, to reset the Arduino. And then got me this little projector here for 300 bucks and I made a bracket so I can actually hang it on the ceiling because I'm going to have an overhead projector here somewhere around this ceiling here and project it somewhere there. projector when it's on and it's projecting to this wall and this is a 113 inch screen it's uh, about uh, 2.8 meter here I just fired up the sim tools this is the software that's running the uh, Arduino to uh, make the uh, platform to move so here's the connection and I have a butt kicker there the big screen there.
once again thank you very much for watching on my youtube channel please don't forget to subscribe i hope you enjoyed the whole video and learned something from it make a comment and have a great day